up? I'm Michelle B and today I am filming a room tour video. I'm so excited to film this. I feel like I have not been happy with my space up until right now. Like I am, this is the first time I've been happy with just my surroundings and general like aesthetics, environment, everything for like two years or so. Basically my home decor style is just like white, simple, minimal with greenery. Like a lot of people but like I'm okay with that. I don't want to ramble too much in this intro so I will just get into the room tour. So firstly I'll just give you a quick overview of the room. So here I have my bed, there I have my desk, my lounge, my closet, sort of an open closet, and my dresser drawer and my big ass mirror. So the first thing that you see when you walk in is this Ikea mirror. I only got this recently. If you have seen my apartment tour, you probably would have seen I had like a really small mirror but that small mirror meant that I had to literally sit down on the floor to do my makeup. So I got this massive one. Literally, it's just the best mirror for selfies. All I wanna do is take selfies. So sitting on the bottom, I keep my work bag there and then I have just like one of those white rugs that are just from Kmart. They're like $15 from Kmart, so incredibly cheap. Um, and then when you move along, this is all of my makeup. So if you've been following my channel for a while, I did the Comrie challenge recently. This is all the makeup that I have been left with and I even think I could color it down further. My dry shampoo, deodorant, everything like that. Over here, I have all of the jewelry and like accessories in general that I sort of own now. I have my two sunglasses that I barely wear. I need to wear them more. And then I have like some really simple, just silver jewelry. I don't wear any gold jewelry. Um, up the back, I have just like a white stack of books. I did a DIY on those books ages ago, if you want to see it. And then I've just got a lamp that is from Ikea. So below all of that, I have a three drawer set. I have no idea of the name, but I'll list it in the description down below, just like everything. In the first drawer is all of my stuff folded in the common way. So I've just got like pajamas, pants, shorts, skirts, everything like that. Then my second drawer, literally just craft stuff. It's so messy. And then in the last drawer, it's just like random stuff. Moving along, I have my little drawer set and in this and the top drawer I won't show you because it is like all of my bras and underwear and stuff. In the bottom drawer, I just have all of my socks folded the Comrie way. Literally since doing this, like when I first did it, I was like, that's ridiculous. I do not want to fold my socks. But since I've done it, I'm like, this is so easy to organize and it's so easy to do. On top of that, I have this, it's kind of hidden, but I just don't want to get rid of the vase because I love it so much. It's like this marble vase. And then kind of also hidden is just some wrapping paper. So then it moves along to my closet. I am literally so thankful to have an open closet again. Working with a closed wardrobe is the most difficult thing when you're used to having an open closet. Open closets are so much easier. Shh, hush now. So this is my closet. My dad actually built this. So on the side, I just hang my two hats. I kind of want the gray one to be showing actually, but anyways, it's not really organized properly at the moment. I obviously want to organize it in the Conmarie way, but the Conmarie way would say that all like long heavy stuff is this side and all light stuff is that side, which doesn't make sense because the stuff that I reach for the most is the light stuff since I live in the Gold Coast, Australia. Ever since doing the Comrie Challenge though, my whole wardrobe has looked so much more cohesive and together. Oh, I love it. And then down the very bottom is where I keep my shoes and I have a fake plant that's just sort of hidden. I mean, you can kind of see the greenery though. So then it moves along to my like couch, like chill out area, I guess. And on the floor, I have just an Ikea rug, a Kmart fluffy thing. Um, my little marble table is also from Kmart. It was like $20, so incredibly cheap. I've seen the same kind of thing for like $200. So here is actually like my to-do notebook. It's not generally there. It just was there this morning. Then I've got this little like, it's like a beaker. My actual couch is from Freedom Furniture. And then I've got some super fluffy pillows and some lined pillows and they are from Kmart. Moving our way around, I have an Ikea plant there and that just sits in the corner and then there is my desk area. This, shockingly, is from Ikea and it holds all of the books and stuff that I use regularly. Those are pretty much all of the like exercise books that I have now. Um, I have a whole jar of scissors. I don't know if I really need these displayed on my desk. I'll probably put them somewhere else eventually. Then I have my little DIY jar with all of my like felt tip pens. I have my computer. I just have an Apple Mac. 
then I really need to get myself a mouse pad. But here is just a cute picture of me and Luke. I really need to get a new picture of us because of that is just shocking. I feel like I don't even look like that anymore. And then there is another IKEA plant on the other side because I wanted it to all be very matchy. The actual desk is <laughs> IKEA and the chair is also IKEA. So in my desk drawers, I keep kind of random stuff. So someone is screaming printer toner and some cases and then I've just got like a big notebook so if I want to do like any mind mapping or anything like that then over this side I keep basically like camera stuff is here any camera stuff that I can fit anyways that's why it looks so messy and gross and any stationery and everything I keep sitting in here just some like blue tack behind there and then there is the bed area which is super super plain i have a waffle duna cover and this is just from target it was pretty cheap i am getting a plain white duna cover very soon right now there's only one pillow there because somehow we managed to lose pillows in the move or something i'm sure that i had more than enough pillows to fill my bed but no, so I have like, well, I actually have two pillows underneath each other. <laughs> and on the top, I want to pop some prints and stuff. So that is my room, basically. I'm so happy with the space that I'm in at the moment. I mean, I have a few things that I want to do here and there, but all in all, like, this is good. This works for me. I will have links to anything that I can find in the description down below. But as you've probably discerned from the video, everything is basically from Kmart, or Ikea. Kmart, oh, could Kmart be killing it any harder with homewares right now? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe using the subscribe button down below. I make videos every week. Follow me on Instagram and everything like that. It's all linked in the description down below and I will see you soon. I promise you that if you do a few simple things on a Sunday, your week will be dramatically improved.